Hey guys, hope you've been enjoying my videos on YouTube. Love the thumbs up, love the comments. Keep giving me those likes, subscribes and shares. I'm going to keep making videos that I hope you're enjoying. Now, today I'm going to be doing something that's a little bit different, a bit of a DIY. Um, you've probably seen the four wheel drives getting around there with the, the fancy um, insulated panels on the inside of here. Uh, you look them up and they cost an absolute fortune to um, to buy to get to fit in your car. So I'm going to be making one out of one of these. Now it's the standard sunshade kit that you buy in your car and comes all folded up. It won't stay folded up for long doing this. Um, goes across your front of your windscreen. Now I have done this before. I got the one here with the extra shades which does have the suction cups in it. Now you can use the suction cups as the expensive ones. Today I'm going to be relying on holding, holding it in. I've done this before and it has worked for quite a while. So, what, the way I've done it previously to get my size, we fold it out, we work out which piece we want. Now I like to keep the, the seam in the bottom and the seam actually sits on the inside of the window. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use a permanent marker and I'm just going to trace and I want it to go outside that a little bit. So I'm going to trace around where and I'm going roughly in the middle of this, this seam here. It doesn't matter if you go slightly larger because you can always trim it back. If you go too big, you've ruined your sunshade and that's the end of it. So on the top here, I'm going to come along the top because I actually want it to, to sit in tight. Now we've come up to a fold there, so make sure that's going to tuck in nice. As I said, I'm going slightly large at this point, so I can trim it down later. So, there's my rough shape. Now, what we do, cut it out. There we go, and that should give us very close size to what we're going to be needing. As you can see, almost tucks in. Now, what we need to do here is make some room for the clips. Now remembering that on the inside our clip goes all the way, so... Okay, so now we can get inside and um, have a bit of a fiddle and adjust it. Okay, so we're inside, remember which side was our down and we'll see how much we need to trim off. Now, we still want it to go a fair way up in there. But I do need to take, so when it sits down into the sill there, now you don't want to fold it up too much because you actually want it to sit up inside there. Actually, I might not need to take any off. Okay, I have a little bit much here.
Now the aim is to get it to fold up in under the seam and that's, so I'm going to use the, the blunt side of the scissors there and that's how I get it to stay there without the, the suction cups. So down nice and tight, nice and tight over there. Again, tuck it down into the, the seam. Now I'm a touch long up this side, so we give it a trim up. There we go. Nice insulative panel, all tucked in there. Nice and neat, just like you would have from an expensive one. So there you go. Nice insulative panel. Protect that fridge from the heat. Uh, I'm planning to sleep in my car on the next trip just to make things a little bit easier. So keep a bit of privacy for me and um, keep it a bit warmer in the car there to stop the cold coming in. Now you could push it out a little bit tighter. You can see where the folds are here. It comes off a little bit. That will soften as the heat gets on it in the sun. Um, I found you can just stretch it out. Now, as I said, they do come with the suction cups. So if you wanted to, you could put some little holes in the top and put it on the back side and suction cup it on. Now, I found that um, in doing that, it actually pushes it about that far off the, off the glass. There, let me see, how do I hold this? So it ends up like that, sitting up off the glass. We're doing it the way I've done it here and tucking it in nice and neat. It tends to sit there pretty good and it sits a lot closer to the glass. I think it looks neater. Up to you guys what you want to do. As I said, you can put the suction cups on the inside um, and, and use them to hold, them, hold the stuff there. Hope you've been enjoying my videos. I am going to be doing this to the other windows um, around the car. I am going to make one for the back for my next trip as well. Um, using the same same method as I've just shown you here. So get out there, have fun. Remember, give me the thumbs up if you like my video, share it around. Really appreciate the support you guys are giving me on YouTube. See you around four-wheel driving.